Greetings, folks. Thank you so much for tuning in. And we're going to answer the question today. What does a search engine optimization SEO means for your hotel? And then uh, also uh, what platforms uh, we can use to maximize um, our hotel's revenue potential. So when it comes to SEO, initially we think about um, uh, Google, Yahoo, Bing, and general, just like the the, the search um, searching for hotels in those in those platforms. So within the last couple of years, especially Google actually improved their um, the search platform for hotels a lot. So they are really really dominating that market as well. So when you search on Google. And please, if you're doing this uh, research yourself, if you want to see how your property is actually ranking on Google, please use a private browser to do this, uh, what I'm going to describe right now. So let's say you're in Houston, just type Houston, Texas hotels, and then hit search. And then when you scroll down, you're going to see a small map that's going to show all the properties within that market. Okay. Um, so if you're on a private browser, uh, it's going to show you the real results. But if you are on a browser where you have already looked at your hotel before, you're not going to see the real results because Google is going to think that you're actually interested in that property and it's going to rank it higher. So you're not going to see the real results. So if you would like to see the real results um, that your clients, your guests uh, who are traveling to that area is seeing, you have to be on a private browser without any history. So do that research, click on Google Hotels, and then you're going to see uh, the, the the hotels that are showing up on the first page of that um, the uh, Google Hotels search uh, uh, platform. Okay, so imagine you're in the Houston market. Um, you could be anywhere else in the world. You could be in Dubai. You could be somewhere in China, and then you come on that platform. If you're not on the first page of that specific search engine that where the client the, the guest is searching for a property your chances are very, very low to capture that reservation, okay? You could have the best property in the market, you could have the best reviews, you could have, um, you could have the most competitive rate, but if you're not showing up high enough, if I can't see your property, I can't book your property. So if you would look, if you would look at, that, at that page on the Google Hotels page, there will be top two properties shown there and you will see right there it will be a, a very small icon that icon will, will say add okay that means that property paid a little bit of a money to be on the top all right so when the client clicks on that link um they're going to be charged depending on the market from 10 cents to a uh, $20 if you're like in New York City okay you could be charged as high as that much because if the, it depends on the competition um, so that's one uh, platform, but other than that, there are a lot of n uh, new platforms that are uh, coming in for the last couple of years. They're all competing on the same department, the search engine optimization for hotels. Kayak, Chivago is specifically for hotels. Okay, I'm talking to hundreds and hundreds of different hotel owners and they see that Chihuahua is spending billions and billions of dollars in ad uh, money to become the number one hotel search engine in the world and they still don't even have the correct content on, the, on these platforms, okay? So, um, Kayak Chihuahua, Google Hotels top three and then comes to Expedia, okay? Even though Expedia is a third, um, is a uh, is an online uh, travel agency, Expedia owns hundreds and hundreds of different websites, okay? Some of the popular ones are um, Hotels.com, Hotwire. Um, these are all owned by um, owned by Expedia. But other than that. There are hundreds of different companies, the travel agencies uh, with the different branded names. They use Expedia's, Expedia's platform because it's one of the strongest um, and largest, uh, the, the online travel agency, uh, the platform in the world. Okay. So uh, same thing, search your, uh, get on a private browser, search your town on Expedia and the properties that are showing up on the top, those are going to be the pay per click, um, uh, the properties that are investing in pay per click, they're going to show higher. All right. If you're not showing up on the first page, forget about it. You're, it's very, very difficult for you to gain in the market share. 
Booking.com is the same thing. Booking.com is much as it is very popular in the United States. I think it's a little bit stronger in Europe. Um, still, Booking.com, again, they have their own. Um, you have the Booking.com, but other than that, they have a lot of affiliated websites, different platforms that are using Booking.com's database. Same thing. Go on a private browser, search your town, see where your property is ranking, okay? If you're not showing up on the first page, forget about it. You could have the best property in the world in that market. You're not gonna, you're not gonna get um, any reservations, okay? It's gonna be very, very difficult for you to capture any reservations. And the beauty with the search engine optimization, um, optimizing your um, um, uh, the results by investing in pay per click. Uh, you are also um, ranking your property higher, uh, capturing more market share, but at the same time, uh, believe it or not, you can actually target specific dates uh, because we have a lot of properties that I'm working with. They, they, they don't want to uh, invest on a, for example, if it's a very strong corporate hotel on a Tuesday or a Wednesday night, they want specific days. They're week on, let's say on Mondays or Thursdays or Sundays. Um, so with these strategies, you can actually specifically target those dates, okay? So if we could be a service, you're invited to reach out to us at bezla.com or give us a call at 888-999-8086. Thank you very much.